trestles at uh, Strathcona Dam. We've just been through a logging gate that was open. We've got Ethan, our driver. Got Tina in the back and Rover in the right in the back. And we're coming up to um, looks like a block. They blocked the road off. We're watching uh, Stealth Camping with Steve Willis, I think his name is, and he'd come down here in the snow and uh, stopped at the gate and walked down this bit. So we're, we're going to carry on where he left off and uh, hopefully make it to the trestle. And here's the end of the road by the looks of it. And they just decommissioned it. I think there was a camp. Okay, we're going to head off now. Just parked up here and uh, we're right on the edge of uh, the lake. We've got some uh, rubble to climb over. Let's have a look. Yeah. They've definitely decommissioned this trail. There's another gate there. Oh look, there's more water over there. Oh, look at that. What a shame, eh? Just like vandalism, basically. Government vandalism. And this is Strathcona La uh, Lake. Buttle Lake is it? I can't remember now. There's beautiful mountains over there. You can put a kayak in here and kayak all around this lake. We spent two days uh, kayaking up towards, uh, well, what's it? Uh, I forget the name. Roberts Creek, I think it was, and uh, climbed up to Marble Meadows. To go, took about eight hour climb up the mountain. So this is an interesting little adventure. those tree stumps out in the water so if you're in a power boat you've got to be careful and just across uh, right over there's the uh, free campsite Strathcona Dam campsite just can't quite make out any campers at the moment but it's still early in the season I guess if you've got a quad, some shovels and picks, you could make a, a little trail through that uh, blockage, that cross ditch they put in. You can definitely get through on a uh, little dirt bike or even mountain bikes. And then you could come along here on your mountain bike. And uh, I don't know where this goes. Way up into the mountains, I'm sure. Go on a brilliant adventure. We're coming up to the wooden trestle now. Ethan's got his drone, so we'll get some nice drone for it. Oh, excuse me. I just brought me a cup of tea. Wow. This is exciting, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah, I guess uh, that's why they decommissioned the road. If Rover disappears through the, the decking. <laughs> you test it out, Rover, is it safe? Yeah, let's have a look. I'll just go down the side, let's have a look. 
Oops. Now look at that. Oh, that looks solid enough. Yeah, let's have a look across. Yeah, I should jump up and down on it, I see if it's safe. <laughs> yeah, there's a little dive platform there, I guess. Well, I wouldn't dive off of here. Uh, big old timbers here. I don't think we've got any worries. Yeah, it's pretty deep, but I don't think it's deep enough to jump off of. It's not here anyway, maybe a bit further out. Oh, it's like a, there's another deck underneath this one, Ethan. Yeah, and there is the actual uh, Strathcona Dam down there. That's where we did a video a few months ago on top of that dam. And the campsite used to be behind that dam at the, uh, by the river. And they moved it now to just over there in that trees where you can see something reflecting back at us that's the new free campsite actually the level of the water looks quite low considering this is springtime this should this water level should be a lot higher Look at all the stumps out there well, it's certainly beautiful up here really peaceful I wonder how deep it is I wonder if you can fish off of it Ooh, yeah, got that it's a big old bridge. We're literally uh, 20 minutes west of Campbell River on the uh, road to Gold River in uh, Strathcona National Park or uh, Provincial Park, I think. Look at that, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I want to step on there. Oh. <laughs> well, And drop your camera, Steve. And you can see that this uh, road carries on up the mountain. I don't know where it goes to. I've got a book at home. I have to see if I can follow it on the map somewhere. I've got a map of the locking roads around here.
as well, cougars. I didn't bring me bear spray today. I've got to be a little bit wary. Normally the bears here are not interested in hassling you as long as they haven't got cubs. It's when they've got cubs is your biggest problem. goes on a fair way. It doesn't look like they're coming. I'm going to carry on. I've got this thing about i got to get to the end. See what's around the corner. Looks like uh, some rocks at the end there. I don't know if that's stopping vehicles coming from the other direction. Most probably there must be access from the other way. And they've just blocked this whole area off which is making a lot of sense when you think how old that bridge bridge is and if you could get a big 4x4 down here or a big old truck or something dodge ram you wouldn't want that driving across there much probably i bet it's good fishing here though because uh, nobody gets here hardly Yeah, it's a cross ditch. They put these in on purpose to stop people wandering around or hunters getting through. Oh, get across. a bit of a turn up here so look Let's see if it goes down to a beach oh it does well, I notice boulders oh there we go there's a nice little uh, nice little uh, beach down here I don't want that uh, No signs around. Oops. Yeah, you can see the campsite directly opposite. That's the campsite, free camp in there. There's a host. You can stay there for up to two weeks for free. Then you have to leave. But if you want to come over here on a kayak or a canoe, nothing's stopping you. Our trellis. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, you should imagine that water's about four or five degrees, maybe less. <laughs> Definitely freeze, freeze, yeah. <laughs> Even in the summer, it ain't that warm. <laughs> Going up there, Rover? There's a good boy. Oops. Yeah, I bet the fishing is really good here.
know this place. Beautiful mountains over there. And there's the campsite again. He just had a wash two day, uh, yeah, was it yesterday? It's not bad, it's just a bit yeah. cool. He's had his flea treatment so we can't, can't let him into the water. He's got another yeah. couple of days before he can have another bath. Not that he likes bathing at all. <laughs> Normally he loves getting in the water, so we've got to keep him out of the water anyway, up to his chest. He don't like swimming, but he just likes to paddle and grab sticks out of the, out of the lake. Yeah, well, it, look, there's, there's another layer. Yeah, another one. Another layer of deck, really solid. Yeah, I reckon you could get a big logging truck across this too if you wanted. Looks very strong. Yeah. Very strong. Doesn't feel any. Mind it's you, don't know what the foundations are like. Really yeah, most probably build it out of uh, timber that like dug fir that doesn't rot. There's tree stumps everywhere. Got to be really careful in the boat. See if you're not turning the camera off and on, it doesn't mind. Yeah, well, I've turned the I've turned the buzzer off. Yeah, Rover's a bit camera shy when it comes to the been up the time. camera beeping. Plus, maybe he doesn't recognise it on the end of the uh, the stick. Maybe. Yeah. If I pull the camera out. <laughs> Turn it on, he, he tends to... Uh, he thinks you have uh, the iPhone. Yeah, or the walking stick or something. Yeah, because I've seen this tail, look at that, it looks happy. Yeah, wow, look at that. What a beautiful view, I want to get a picture of that. Here's the gate. Ethan had a adventure down the Nairo where he come back to leave and the gate was closed. That could cost you $300 to have it opened. There's a phone number. 